Sunshine Tour World travelled to Eagle Canyon Golf Estate to meet up with Martin de Toy, who turned pro in 1999 and currently plies his trade on the Sunshine Tour. We wanted to gain a better insight of the team that many modern professional golfers have around them to help improve on-course results. My team is everything. I think a lot of people don't realise what goes into making a will make up the performance in a professional golfer and so my team is really important. And basically there's a few players that's important to me. First of all would be my golf coach, which is Hendrik Biermann. Then I have a fitness coach, who's Craig Govender. Then I have a um, few mental coaches actually. So each of them, it's, I always say it's like the legs of a table. So if, if one leg is uh, not there, the table becomes a bit wobbly and if two legs we're missing then uh, the thing falls over so everybody plays a part. Fitness is crucial in the modern game and Martin takes this aspect of his training seriously. It has to be golf specific training though. I have a guy Craig Govender, he's also the physio for the Highfeld Strikers which is a cricket team here in Joburg. You know I basically got guidance from something called the Titus Performance Institute which is um, people in America in California that made a study of how your body should function to be able to swing a golf club most efficiently so I sort of take guidance from that and uh, I mean we don't look like rugby players because we don't have to I mean for us it's more important to have flexibility balance uh, there's an element of strength but you know being mobile is super important since golf's a rotational game. Fitness is vital I mean we can see how it's gone through in recent times with Tiger Woods he seems to be unbelievably professional in his in his physique in the way he trains etc and with the amount of golf being played this day and age your physical condition needs to be up there with the best with Martin having played our tour for over a decade traveled abroad and worked as a teaching professional he's in a good position to comment on just how well the tour is doing of late I think it's fantastic uh, if you just look at the events we have. We have eight co-sanctioned events uh, with the European Tour on local soil which is more than any other country in the world. So uh, yeah, I think it's really strong as far as players are concerned. These European events that are down here really benefits us because we get exposed to a yeah, higher level of play so it's, it's definitely in a healthy place. Martin works closely with Hendrik Buurman, a man who understands the many nuances that make up a golfer. I think the relationship to understand each one's needs is probably more important than uh, the actually information or the technical side of it. The game is more than just what we see the eye. Coaching like the plane, I mean we can see it, we can put in a camera and see it, but how your motions is and what to do at a certain time, that's, that's years of experience and you've got to try to deal with those type of things and that's so critical to understand your pro you're working with and your individual. The mind is often not as easy to train as the body and it's an area all modern golfers put a lot of focus on. The mental game of golf is really important and I have a few people that are really instrumental in helping me with that. And so I have a few people that help me with that. Uh, first of all, my wife is an amazing sounding board for me. My pastor at Central Park City Church, uh, Grant Flom, has been instrumental in helping me with this stuff. And also, um, I meet regularly with a person named Paul Nyamuda from Corporate Legends who uh, is a corporate coach and he, he gives me great perspective on things also. Murray Hall may help out with the mental side of things, but on the squash court, Martin's on his own. I met Martin when I was visiting South Africa. We then had a few weeks in Joburg where we had our first date squash court on the squash court and I beat him. He was then interested and, you know, my wife is a tough competitor and there's a bit of history with this one because when we first started seeing each other she said let's have a game of squash and I said great let's do it and she became the first woman to ever beat me in any sporting event. <laughs> it seems to be a trend that Martin can't buck as he lost yet again to Muriel. Mental coaches, fitness coaches, managers, equipment sponsors, corporate sponsors and a wife are all part and parcel of Team Detroit.